Hey guys, so I'm going to start this new project that's really got me excited and it's to convert a small engine, in this case a lawnmower engine, from gasoline to steam or air pressure. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is tip this to the side and remove the blade right here. Alright, so I'm just going to zip this guy off. I'm going to keep the uh, little mechanism here to mount the blade because uh, I don't know what I'm going to be mounting on it. It's not going to be the blade, but it's going to be, it might be something else. So I'm going to keep this. It could, it could be useful. Okay, next I'm going to uh, remove the cover here. Take this off. And so, looks like the fuel tank just comes off like that. It has one of those little hose clamps on the back. And then I'm going to go outside and drain this gas. There we go. Okay, next we have the muffler. It's a 5 sixteenths. Yeah, and we have this um, linkage here, disconnect. Could disconnect the spark plug. The spark plug is where I plan to um, have the air slash steam pressure go into. Now we have these two bolts for the uh, magneto. I'm not going to need the magneto. The only electrical connector. There we go. Alright, now we got this 24 millimeter on the top. Close the flywheel on. So for whatever reason, lawnmowers like to do this. Um, in order to take the flywheel off, you need to use a puller set. And to do that, you have to thread two holes in here, but um, you have to thread two bolts into here. But they are not threaded. You need to actually thread them yourself, which is actually really annoying. So I picked a nice size. So I'm just going to... So we're just going to keep doing this, and then we're going to tap the other side, and then pull it out. Alright, just got this flywheel loose, make sure you grab the keyway, probably going to need that later. Alright, now I'm going to take this plate off. Here's the dipstick. Something's still holding it on. Disconnect this line going in here. All right, let's take off this uh, cable assembly. Okay, now we got the air filter housing. Take that off, and then we got some bolts holding that on. Alright, we're gonna pull off the carburetor. Looks like we can just pull it forward, disconnect the linkage. I'm going to dump this gasoline that's in here, in the bowl. Alright, now we can take this bracket off. Let's 
Okay, I'm going to disconnect this spring. Then remove this little bracket. And then we got a uh, little bracket over here holding this arm on. Alright, so now I'm going to actually remove the engine. Sorry if you can't see guys. Alright, um, I'm going to drain this engine oil by just flipping it upside down and it'll come out this port here. Okay, um, I think these bolts hold this little cover on. Ah, oh, this whole thing is the oil pan, I see. Okay, so I'm having some trouble getting the oil pan off right now, so um, I'm just going to remove the head bolts next. Okay, I took out the push rods by tipping the engine. <laughs> 